welcome to Professional Spotlight. I'm Shuvi Powers. I'm the Director of PR and Social Media with Girls in Tech. I'm simply delighted to do these Professional Spotlight series because we really want to show to young girls the careers you can have in STEM. And we really want to inspire, teach, and help everyone grow. And today, I'm really excited to introduce you to my guest, Lisa Mason. She is the Director of Resourcing and Pre-Production here at The Nerdery. If you're not familiar with The Nerdery, they're a Bloomington technology company that builds and maintains custom business system software. They were founded in 2003 and have since opened two other locations in Chicago and in Kansas City. Welcome, Lisa. Hi. Hi. So, Lisa, can you take a minute and just tell our viewers a little bit about you? We want to get to know you. Yeah. Um, hi, I'm Lisa. Um, I started working in technology in the late 90s, um, doing a bunch of um, customer support, um, computer repair stuff. Uh, then I worked in video games for a while, and now I'm at the nerdery. Um, and how did you get interested in technology? That was probably my dad. Um, and it was kind of subversive. Like I didn't realize that that's what he was doing. Um, when I was little, they used to hand out, or not hand out, they would send out those computer magazines yeah. that had like code in the back and you could copy the code. Yep. And it would be a program that would run. And he would try to keep us busy when we came to visit him at the office. And, and the deal was if I could get it to run, it was most of more games. If I could get it to run, then I could play it as much as I wanted. But I was like eight and I couldn't type and I didn't know how programming worked, but I would copy out these whole, um, the only one I got working was a total centipede ripoff. Oh, cool. um, it was forever. And it took me a really long time then I had to debug it and figure out why it wasn't working. So, did um, so it was kind of, I think it was busy work, um, but he was really into technology and that kind of rubbed off, so. That's great. Yeah. So tell us about, so we're here at your desk. Tell yeah, us what you do here. Desk. Yeah, what do you do at your <laughs> desk? Tell us. Um, I do a lot of data analysis right now. Um, so functionally, my job is for all of the work that's coming in from the sales team for clients that want us to build stuff. Um, I do a lot of support with them to get that work into the system and to get it into a shape and a description that is something that's actually buildable. Um, because people call us with sort of different ideas of what they want and so I help them define that and then get it staffed and ready to go in the development department so I get to see the whole machine for lack of a better word the big picture yes yeah so right now I do a lot of big data analysis so I'm figuring out hiring forecasting and lead times and staffing progress and and then also each of the individual projects so wow, that's really interesting it's really fun yeah. actually it's very we have a lot of data around here, yeah. <laughs> so it's helping guide that. Hi, in case you haven't noticed, we're in a different location here. It's called a Springfield Room, and yes, that's in Simpsons. <laughs> um, so Lisa, <laughs> tell me, how have you um, improved your skill set over the years, formally or otherwise? Formally or otherwise? Mine's been more of the otherwise category. Okay. Um, I think one thing that's been a really consistent driver in the in the technology work that I like doing is learning. Um, and one thing that I really like about working at the nerdery is that everyone's an expert in something. Um, so I've I've learned to ask a lot of questions and pay attention to the answers. And and naturally, I'm pretty inquisitive. Um, when I had bigger questions, I've made um, training courses for myself. Oh, cool! Yeah, I use like the iTunes College. Um, I forget what it's called the podcasts yeah. from the different like lectures and stuff. I use those all the time. That's fantastic. It's really fun. You yeah. can learn a ton of stuff for free. It's yeah. great. So Very cool. Mostly that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fun to ever just go back and look at all those things in case you forget something too. So that's helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. So uh, if you could do something else, what would it be? I have a really weird answer to this question. <laughs> I legitimately would really love to open a butcher shop. Like, <laughs> really? yeah, I want a little weird butcher shop and then there'd be a little diner next door and it would have breakfast for dinner because that's the best. Yeah, well the farm for the from the table or farm to table thing. Yeah, right? yeah, I was mentioning that I grew up in North Dakota and lived on a cattle ranch in high school. Um, and I think I just, a part of my job, one of the only things that doesn't actually involve my job is this respect for people who make our food. Um, and so I think that's really interesting. So if I did something else, that would be it. In total bizarro land, that's what I would do. 
So I guess that kind of answers to the next question, which is, have you considered starting your own venture? So if it wasn't the butcher shop, yeah. would it be something else? Yeah, I have um, I had a lot of experience doing um, video game PR and um, stuff along those lines. So I've always been really interested in working in entertainment more directly. Okay. Um, and so that would probably be a freelance kind of thing. Okay. But yeah, it's it makes me do this. So it's not really like a plan <laughs> yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what's the best career advice that you've ever been given? I, well, I alluded to it earlier, but hands down, the best advice I ever got was to ask a lot of questions and pay attention to the answers. Um, and I think that that's, it's really great advice because it gives you an opportunity to learn. Yeah. Um, and it also is a really great respect builder mm -hmm. with people that you work with. You're interested in what they have to say right. and you're paying attention to the answer and you almost always learn something really interesting. Yeah. So that's probably the overall umbrella advice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a good one. Can you share anything fun from your video game days? Yeah. Well, so backtrack a little bit. I used to, I worked for a video game magazine. I was a writer for a video game magazine for five years, which I didn't realize is a real job, but is absolutely a real job. Very cool. Yeah. So I did all of their technology coverage and then reviews and cover stories and features. And, um, that's a super weird life because all of a sudden you show up and it's, you know, someone who's made these games that you have played for years and years, and you're like, oh, hi, I idolize you. Yeah. Let's, let's chat. You're my celebrity. I know. <laughs> it's really, it's really hard to not be a total goober, um, and to realize that you still have a job, and also that they have a job. Yeah. You're, you're just talking to them about their job. Yeah. They just happen to have a really crazy, weird job. Yeah. Um, so that was, there was a lot of stuff with that. I eventually switched over into designing and producing video games, and I did that for a while, okay. too. And um, that actually led a lot into the work that I do at the nerdery. Okay. It was a really close tie. So it's a lot of project management and a lot of on-the-fly problem solving. Yeah. Um, because it's not obvious how to get players to do what you want them to do. So Lisa, do you have any other words for our viewers today? I think the overall thing that I want to encourage people to do um, is something that has served me really well, which is to just be curious um, and push myself. And I didn't have a great idea when I was in high school or a super specific idea. As most of us don't. Right. Yeah. They, they pretend like right. they have these ideas, but right. we don't. Um, and I didn't have a super specific, this is where I want to be, um, and instead started doing things that I liked and just decided to be open when people were like, hey, could you try this thing over here? And I was like, sure, sure, <laughs> all right. And I would work my butt off at getting that done. Um, but really, it was, it was being curious and pushing myself okay. and seeing where that takes me. And it's my favorite stuff has come from that. So you're going for what you wanted and just keeping an open mind about it and learning as you went. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, thank you so much for your time You're today. Welcome. And I also want to give a shout out to the Nerdery for having us here today. I really appreciate it. And um, again, I'm Shuvi with Girls in Tech. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.